I want to thank you all for coming here today in support of Corporal Christian Brown. We're here today to celebrate a new beginning for Christian. The Gary Sinise Foundation's Rise program is helping our nation's wounded heroes reclaim their self-respect and independence. This program is dedicated to the wounded heroes and their families as they adjust to life after injury. You know, every day is, is a battle, you know, and it's, it's uphill, you know, most of the time. Robert Frost said the only way past is through. You need to walk through that door. The only way past is through to make sure that you go through that door, you know, to just suck it up, try to get your courage and go there. And what you've gone through, your sacrifice, um, what you've given up is not an easy thing. It takes a lot of thought process to figure out how to, how to live in a wheelchair, it really does. Doorways are always a big issue with me. Anywhere I go, I can't fit through the doorway. It's just unnerving. I have my microwave lower. Down here, it's on my level at a wheelchair level. I can see my food, I can see what's going on, I can reach my buttons without overexerting myself or being a fall risk. And it's right here and I can grab it and it just makes it easier for me being down on this level. I have touch faucets where if I have my hands full, you know, I can take my elbow and touch the faucet and it comes on by itself. My blinds go up and down by remote so I don't have to individually let my blinds down if I'm sitting on the couch and I got a glare on the TV. I don't have to in my chair, over to the blinds, back in my chair, back on the couch. You see, I knew you. I knew you. I knew you before you were born because you're the same person that I was trying to drag and get into a gurney or onto a helicopter. But at that time, we weren't able to save these guys. No matter what we did, the triage, the technology was not as great. And so many of the times when I was with them uh, from the beginning to the end, you know, they would, uh, they would die. They would pass away. I was the last person that they were with. So I told myself that if we were able to give back, no matter how we would do it, small, marginal, we would give back. Everything in this house is completely equipped to allow me the opportunity to live just like a normal person and have my individuality, you know, without somebody else having to be here. So, Christian, there is nobody on the face of this earth that deserves this home more than you. Every house that these guys do is custom tailored to the individual, so you get to represent your personality, who you are as a person, and when you do that, you know, it's just an incredible feeling. I'm proud to announce that this is the 27th home that has been completed, and the Gary Sinise Foundation has another 19 homes that are in some phase of construction, planning, or design. It's not easy for everyone to come together in this kind of fashion, but the Gary Sinise Foundation has done a fantastic job of bringing for-profits, non-profits, community members, churches, schools, together in a shared mission of restoring self, family, and hope. I wish I could be there today to thank you personally and wish you all the best. It has been my great privilege to have played a part in supporting this effort. I've been deeply inspired by your resilience and courage. I look forward to one day visiting you in your new home. On behalf of everyone at Gary Sinise Foundation, thank you for serving our country. Thank you for all you've given and you have sacrificed on behalf of this nation. Welcome home, sir. May God bless you always and may God bless the United States of America you have so faithfully served. Semper Fi, your pal, Gary Sinise. On behalf of all of the sponsors and donors and partners of the Gary Sinise Foundation, on behalf of everyone here from the city of Mumford and surrounding communities, the Gary Sinise Foundation would like to officially present you with the iPad that controls your entire house.
now I can't repay you guys for what y'all have done, you know. So I just thank everybody. There's no way I could possibly list everybody that was a part of what's going on here today. But just know from the person that's on the very top to the middle man to the guy that gave the only student he had in his pocket, you know, thank you from the bottom of my heart.